Hi. One important uh, aspect of ASP.NET MVC is uh, query string. How we uh, receive data which is sent from a query string and where do we get it? Definitely uh, the pattern is controller and its uh, action. And if you see and go uh, back to the route configuration, we have third option which is an ID. So uh, if we do the slash and we send some number, uh, that would be received as an uh, argument in, in, an, in that specific action. So let's see how we do, is, do this and I will go and uh, add one action, action result and that is let's say for example time which is a time table actually time table and uh, we just return view so let's see how we get id over here so what i want is that when somebody type in a url that is home slash table uh, and uh, uh, with slash with some id so that specific time table should be generated so uh, how do we send that to the view and how we get it over here. So let's add view table. So it's adding an empty view and uh, I want to add a razor syntax over here and uh, let's add a small snippet. How, how, do, how do we want to look it, how it should look like and uh, let's 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 use span and i will use two into times table is equal to add the rate two into i and definitely i will put a break over here and if I run this, it should generate a uh, two two times two time table. So it's generating a two time table, and uh, this is because uh, we just hard coded. And this value, I I want this value to be generic value that should be like this slash uh, two slash three something like that and that should be received uh, to this view and that view should generate that table so I can say that two's table and this two number should be coming from the controller so how do we receive this over here so let's close this close this and uh, here we have an integer ID which is a third optional and uh, that is an optional ID which means that uh, if we run this we should receive it over here so if I add a breakpoint over here so before returning a view let's see what we get and we will be getting some interesting things slash home slash table 2 and in the ID we are getting 2 let's press F5 and continue and uh, let's first uh, see the behavior of this application so if I send this it's saying that uh, not null label type system n32 which is that we are sending null over here which is that we are sending ID as null over here and this integer is not nullable in C sharp as you know that it has an option to make uh, a variable a nullable which can store additional null value other than its uh, normal available range so if I run this and if I say home slash oops table so ID has a null value and if that's a null value we can make a business logic you can make your algorithm work like that that if user does not specify any ID uh, how your program should behave so I'm going to send a view bag 
dot uh, let's say num is equal to id so i can make a decision over here that if user sends a null value i should not uh, assign any 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 value anything to the num but let's keep it like that so over here i will be using view back view back dot num stable and uh, view back dot num let's let's store it somewhere so integer uh, that can be null while or n is equal to view back dot num so so if uh, n is not equal to null then we are definitely going to generate a times table otherwise we are not going to generate any times table right so this is actually uh, n and this is n so we are receiving anything sent through a query string will be received over here and we are sending to setting a view back and view is actually accessing that num through a view back so let's run this and uh, let's do three right so we have a breakpoint let's remove this so id is three press f5 setting a view back sending back to so we are getting a three time table and then let's say if we are doing five we are getting a five timetable if we are doing ten we are getting a tens timetable that's how we, we we do this we can also do this like question mark the typical query string style id is equal to four so this is a typical query string style we can also do that and then uh, asp.net can map and can bind these query string values to the arguments of a function so let's add uh, something more to this uh, let's say for example i'm sending a name so who is actually generating that time table let's say so view back dot name is equal to name and let's access that two's timetable of someone so we are getting name over here and we are we will be receiving over here so by default string can accept null so there is a possibility that user does not specify any any value to the name or even does not specify a parameter as name over there uh, in a url so slash home slash table this time we are sending null so this time table of null something so sending let's say name is equal to john and uh, id is uh, five so five table of john oh we are getting this like this as a code so let's let's do this john and this right so that's how we actually send um, curious thing and definitely we can uh, add some more variables over here and these variables uh, will be received over here uh, specifically with the id uh, we need to take care of this that in dot configuration we have specified exactly the id so that that must be exactly the id variable over there so if i rename is and say it um, a num let's say num let's say num and if i run this with uh, a parameter let's say five which is our uh, in the routes which is uh, which is null in that case 
and uh, although we are sending some value but it's uh, uh, treating it as a null value because it's uh, accepting uh, uh, it's uh, accepting id over there so um, so that must be actually id so id was null and uh, we need to send id So if I run this with an ID, it's getting there, right? So that must be actually ID, exactly name that is specified over there. So that's uh, all about uh, sending data through uh, query string. So if from the URL, uh, we can send a uh, query string pattern and then that pattern can be received by that specific action and these are actually mapped uh, uh, with the with the parameters and you can retrieve data from those parameters all right